Title. Video Music Retrieval. An Inter-Intramodal Loss for Cross-Modal Retrieval. The paper introduces a novel inter-intramodal. 2. Loss to enhance the performance of video music retrieval models by mitigating overfitting on noisy data. This approach is particularly beneficial for self-supervised training where video and music samples are separated from the same video work, leading to false negative noise in the dataset. The proposed framework, IICLVM, incorporates the two loss and achieves state-of-the-art performance on the YouTube 8M dataset. It also performs better when retrieving music using multimodal video information. The IICLVM framework uses global sparse sampling to extract feature sequences from video and music, eliminating duration information and enabling content-based retrieval. Separate sequence encoders are used to extract temporal information from the feature sequences. The intermodal loss function increases the similarity between positive sample pairs and decreases the similarity between negative sample pairs. The intermodal loss function preserves the relative feature distribution of the samples, preventing false negative samples from moving away from their corresponding positive samples. The IICLVM framework is extended to IICLVTM by incorporating text information, such as video descriptions, titles, or keywords. Experiments are conducted on the YouTube 8M dataset to evaluate the performance of IICLVM on video music retrieval tasks. The results demonstrate the effectiveness of IICLVM in retrieving music for videos. Additionally, the generality of the two loss function is verified on various other crossmodal retrieval tasks, and experiments are designed to verify that two loss can effectively alleviate the problem of false negative noise in the retrieval datasets. The IICLVM framework, a novel approach for video music retrieval, achieves state-of-the-art results by leveraging a BILSTM encoder and an inter-intermodal loss function to capture both intermodal and intermodal relationships between video and music features. Experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed framework, outperforming other state-of-the-art methods on the video music retrieval task with a significant R at 1 improvement of 0.5% to 3% compared to the CLVM framework. The paper also presents a subjective evaluation of the video music retrieval task, showcasing the framework's performance on background music selection, with a probability of 88.52% that the ground truth music is selected over a random piece of music. Furthermore, the IICLVM framework is evaluated on other retrieval tasks including text-to-music retrieval and cross-modal retrieval tasks, demonstrating the generality of the inter-intermodal loss function on different retrieval tasks. The authors introduce a novel loss function, intra-intra-to loss, designed to mitigate the effects of noisy training data and improve the model's generalization capabilities. Experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of the two loss in improving the model's performance on video text retrieval tasks with significant R at K improvements on various datasets, including MSVD, MSRVTT, and VATEX. The two loss is shown to be effective in resisting false negative noise interference and achieving higher R at K values compared to the baseline model. The two loss is also demonstrated to be effective in dealing with different levels of noise interference and achieving state-of-the-art results on the Caltech 256 dataset for image retrieval tasks. The authors conclude that the two loss is a valuable innovation in the IICLVM framework, with promising results on various datasets and adaptability in different contexts and applications. This research proposes a cross-modal retrieval model for music videos, integrating audio and visual features through an innovative two loss function. This novel approach enhances the similarity between audio and visual modalities, ultimately improving retrieval performance. Additionally, the authors introduce a noise-resistant method for endo-end -end retrieval models, significantly boosting R at K values when dealing with noisy data. Empirical results on the Caltech 256 dataset are presented, showcasing the relationship between R at K increment and noise level with and without 2 loss. The stacked bar chart reveals that R at K without 2 loss deteriorates rapidly as noise levels increase whereas 2 loss has a pronounced impact on improving R at K when noise levels are high. The authors highlight the challenges in cross-modal retrieval, specifically in large dataset tasks and developing noise-resistant methods for endo-end models.
They argue that two loss has the potential to become a more effective and versatile tool in crossmodal retrieval. The paper provides an exhaustive list of references, covering music video generation, audiovisual embedding, and deep learning techniques for image and video recognition, demonstrating the extensive research conducted in this area and providing a solid foundation for further exploration and development of crossmodal retrieval models.